Hello, my name is Dave Totes. And I'm involved in the year 1560. The history of the German purity law goes back to 1516. Reinheitsgebot, the kings of the time, would have been like, we need to preserve the rye and the wheat for the common man. The common man needs those for their daily loaf of bread. As a brewer, I'm like, F the common man. I need to do my own and make my own for beers that will be my daily bread. You need to stick with the standards of beer, malt, or barley. Yeast come later because science wasn't all that sciencey in 1516. Water. And of course, Hops. Thank you. <laughs> I will cheers you because I love you. German pride was using the four elements of beer. The Germans, they would sit and drink a pint. So I'm like, hey, my friend, how are you doing today? And he's like, well, it's been a hard time at my workplace. And you know what I could use? I could use a beer, take the edge off. The bartender would be like, you fool. There's so many beers that are made like this. But you know, German pride is great and strong. And no matter what beer you choose, it would be strong to your mouth and quenching to your soul. It's a Rheinheisgebot beer. Beer that, beer that stands the German purity. And you would love that beer like you would love your wife. And life would be good. And it's moments like these that makes for a toast. Raise it up, gentlemen. Raise it up all. And cheers to the 1560.